jiggling. Okay. One, two, three. Left, right, balance. Test, test, test. Ah! All right. Let's uh, minimize this. Maximize that. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Welcome back to Stellar Games. Dwellsy here. <coughs> I'm I'm really excited. I think I've got some things figured out. Um, <sighs> no Man's Sky, dudes. I bought my computer to play this game because back even when this was released it had some advanced stuff and and my computer even then was five or six years old so i i had to upgrade i i had a budget of about a thousand dollars so i upgraded to play that game and it's still the same computer that's driving the, the vr right now um so it's a thousand dollar machine i had a hard drive failure so i upgraded to a rate 10 system for my system drive etc so uh, there's a couple extra dollars put in after that but it's it was a even still, it's only about $1,200 for what I've invested into this machine. Uh, so well, I'm super excited because they've now released the next um, version of, of No Man's Sky. My goodness, I can't even remember what the next version is called already. Hey, why don't you put a comment down below let me know. <laughs> uh, it's VR capable now. It's ridiculous. Let's do it. Okay, so I hear that the audio source is switched, so I'll, I'll switch all that back to that. Okay, hopefully you can see that now. And uh, it is just a just a box window at the moment, but uh, for you guys, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to start a new game here. And uh, I'm just going to do a nice chill, a chill exploration experience. Um, original gameplay style with regular difficulty, standard technology, and building costs. I do have another game that I've invested uh, a little bit of time in. I have six million dollars, a, a good ship, uh, all sorts of resources, a base somewhere. Uh, but I'm going to start a brand new game to show you what, first of all, if no one's ever seen... Um, uh, no Man's Sky. It's it's a universe sandbox game. There's 18 quadrillion procedurally generated planets that that you can explore and discover. They've now got um, multiplayer down a little bit better. That you can actually somewhere out in the universe eventually meet people. So I believe the the first part of the story and it and it's. It kind of guides you a little bit. There's there's some guidance, but it's pretty open to how you play these games. Um, this video is probably going to be a little bit longer uh, than some of the other five ten minute videos that we've been normally used to. Here's an adventure series. I've been waiting for this to hit VR for a long time. Uh, I would love to go through it with you guys. So let's do a normal exploration map. Oh, this is glorious. Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Basically, everything that you see here, all these orbs and, and even the names that are floating by, some of those names are discovered, discovered systems. Every dot you see flying by is a system with a star in it. And it could range from one to many planets, five, six planets. All of them have resources to gather. Uh, resources are required to refill your tool, refill your ship, repair your ship, repair your exosuit, sell and trade. So I assume I'll get a couple of little loading screens here and there. This is a massive game my computer can handle playing the game but I'm also using it to record in high definition at the same time with the the three different tracks and stuff so it's a pretty busy little machine 
this loading screen is fantastic. It was kind of cool uh, before <laughs> whipping through the universe at the speed of light, um, but being in VR is really, really neat. <laughs> it's not horribly disorienting looking around, but uh, it's, it's quite the experience. So the game does have a lot of controls and it will require a little bit of concentration on my part, but I'll try to keep talking when, when I can or if, I'm, if it's appropriate. So as we whip through the, uh, the universe, we're going to crash on one of these planets. And basically it's uh, survival from there. easy enough to die <laughs> you get yourself into the wrong situations and can't get out uh, quick enough some of these planets are hostile some of them are very timid and lots of flora and fauna and all of them procedurally generated all right here we go I'm just gonna make sure the uh, sound is on the other side here First contact. Let me do this real quick. There we go. Now I got the surround sound happening. Hello. Okay, what do we got here? interesting thermal oh that's a that's a problem okay so I've got right multi-tool we're gonna need some ferrite dust I'm sure refined sodium okay scan scanner damaged the scanner is a personal surface radar device. It releases a high energy pulse that reveals any critical survival resources in the immediate area. This technology is critically damaged. Darn it. Okay, we need ferrite dust. No, we gathered ferrite dust. We need sodium. Oh, and ferrite dust. Okay. Harvest sodium. Recharge hazard protection. Let's, we need sodium. Gather ferrite dust for repairs. Okay. Right, dust and sodium. Move around the planet and look for resources with teleport movement. A number of movement styles and comfort options uh, while I'm dying here are available in the menu. Okay, let's let's learn a little bit more about this in a second. Let's get out of here. I need to find, say, a cave, for example, and or locate my ship, which doesn't seem to be right in the immediate vicinity. So we need a cave, something to protect ourselves. As my screen freaks out as I load. This could be really bad like immediately. We need to get out of here. Yeah, this is all cool and stuff, but I need to get out of here. There's some there's some creature. I'm gonna avoid it for now. I don't I don't feel very good about this situation. Is there anything down here? Yes, I understand. Under un okay, maybe maybe we just harvest some of this stuff. And can we, can we, can we do this yet? Oh, I need 75, right. While I'm looking for a cave, oh man, we got to get out of here. 
Maybe there's a cave this way. No? Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope those aren't hostile creatures. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness, we're gonna like, oh, my ship. Yes. Lucky, 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 and I hope you're not hostile. Yes. Okay, let's get in there. Oh, safe. Okay, that was really lucky. Out of all the directions we picked, we found the ship with no scanning. Okay. <laughs> Atlas connection. Intermittent. Launch thrusters. Offline. Pulse engine. Offline. Pilot multi-tool critically damaged. Uh, man, we're in trouble. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch. Or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Well, uh, do you want to read the log? Let's read the log. Log 4925A, unavailable, substituting data. Exosuit. Connected. Suggestion. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Well, let's repair the multi-tool scanner. Seems like a good path. Local area scanner. Offline. Repair sequence. Initiated. Environment warning. It's hot out there. VR guidance. Perform 12 turns. Okay. So, I guess let's get out of here and just do some tutorial stuff. Exosuit should be basically back to normal for a moment. Yeah, see the... It's hot out there. Man, it's eating the suit. Okay, so let's just turn around really quickly. There we go. Gather. So let's do some of that gathering now that we've found the suit. They're not big enough. So some of these rocks out here, like these guys, should provide the ferrite dust. Some of the ones in the cave um, will provide pure ferrite, but you need uh, an advanced mining tool, which we don't have quite yet, of course. Okay, seems like enough ferrite dust. Let's go to our inventory, scanner, repair. Excellent. Scanner repaired. So now we got to start uh, repairing the ship. So the recommendation is to repair the ship engines. Repairing the starship requires a mix of crafted products, salvaged items, and advanced refined substances. Okay, so let's get metal plating first. Collect ferrite dust. So I need some more ferrite dust. Craft the metal plating uh, to repair the pulse engine. So more ferrite dust. No problem. Now you do have to watch your, this will overheat. So the bar at the top will tell you, and then you have a percentage of kind of fuel for it. Um, so let's actually get some quote unquote fuel. In this case, I think it's carbon. Some things have changed since I've played last. So let's do carbon. Nice, that's a bunch of carbon. So before it gets to overheating, just let go of the trigger and it will cool down. And some of that can be upgraded as you go so that it will last longer and cool down faster and things like that. So grab some more ferrite dust. Let's pass that rock there and there. Now, generally speaking, if you don't attack the animals and they're docile, they won't attack you, generally speaking. Uh, you start attacking things, they'll fight back. Some of them will just fight you. 
So you do have to watch your environment. Um, so there we got some carbon. Let's do a little refill. Go over to the multi-tool, mining beam, recharge it with some carbon. Good. So what is this? Uh, pure ferrite. See, I need an advanced mining tool for that. All right, a little bit more ferrite dust. A little bit more there, a little bit more there. All right, so we'll turn around. Um, I saw some uh, elements over here. Let's let's go take a look at what this is. On this planet now, I don't know if it changes from planet to planet, but it 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 used to. So I'm just going to turn a little bit here. Uh, sometimes it's uncomfortable to stand in this game for a really long time. I am standing right now, but you could uh, sit down for this one. So these are dihydrogen crystals. So let's let's gather some of this resource. I know that that's going to be handy. And if we have too much or whatever, we can sell it later once we get off the planet. Now, this planet looks to have, or this system looks to have at least one, two planets over there. This planet is surrounded by rings by the looks of it. It's very, it's very cool. Um, my heat shields are pretty good, my thermal protection. We do have to watch out for storms and things. You'll, you could get into trouble a little faster. So these little mining lasers have the ability to just suck up the resources after it's it's all broken down. And and you can see some of the pieces flying in as it's breaking down. It counts up there. You can see that the counter. So okay. Craft metal plating. We need one. So let's go to our inventory. And in our exosuit, uh, well, actually, since this is the ship and we are pretty much within range of it, we can we can build one here. We're going to select that square. And as you can see, it takes ferrite dust to, to do that. So we have um, 50 of 50. And I'm just going to pull the trigger and we build one of those. I'm, since we're here, I'm going to select the pulse engine and repair the damage to this particular technology. Done and done. All right. Uh, okay, we're still good for our stuff. So Starship restoration sequence initialized. Starship repair partially complete. Board the Starship and consult the ship diagnostics. Okay, let's do that. We'll turn. Let's go over to our ship that's basically on fire. <laughs> let's get in that. All right, iteration 4924G functional. Starship critically damaged, vital uh, ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components, pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Okay, so let's let's request assistance. Let's see what they they say. Recommendation, iteration comparison reveals hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Okay, so we still recommend to repair the ship, etc. So now we're on Repair pulse engine hermetic seal. So I need to go get a, uh, a hermetic seal. Let's start that little journey of getting out of here. Let's go over here to this distress beacon. Let's let's go over here and see what kind of resources are actually around. Look, we got some. Uh, oh, take our mining tool out. Got some ferrite dust. Well, I'm sure we're going to need more of it later. And uh, we can reach out, and we should be able to grab these containers uh, it, it it has some value so i'm gonna i'm gonna actually take this i'm gonna stuff it in the starship for now because we're still technically within range it's got quite the range uh so let's take this box and let's take this box where we get crystal fragments okay good range on that there you go See what's in this box. Good. Okay. Oh, oh, Atlas passes. Right. Excellent. In my one other game, I do have an Atlas. Barely. Okay. An Atlas pass version three. So I, I don't have to really worry about anything. 
right. And this needs what? Spring casing. Okay. Oh, we need pure ferrite for that to repair that. Okay, I don't have pure ferrite. I'll need to refine some ferrite, but I do see a, another damaged unit over here. And some more resources over there. Carbon ferrite dust. Uh, can you hear those animals? There's oh, there are flyers. That's right. There are flyers on this planet. I haven't seen too much water. Do we need pure ferrite? Okay. Well, it's getting dark. Man, it gets dark fast, but look at the scenery now, just like that. <laughs> That's beautiful. And you can see the planets basically or orbiting, or we're orbiting, or we're all orbiting something. gonna turn this way instead did I did I get what we needed or was I just messing around I already forget what did we need here all oh, right hermetic seal so we needed to check this out <laughs> let's um let's go over to this side There we go. Little atlas blob. Iteration, etc. deleted. Boundary separation, failure, likely. Vessel 16 emptied. Cause, sentinel intervention. Delivery rate transfer. What? They stole it? Analysis. Fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. Mm, eh. Broadcast it. Received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. All right. Red light fills my vision. All I see is crimson, and then it fades. Ah, the Canadian color version drains, and all the words that had seemed so clear seem to slip away. I peer inside the beacon's housing, as well as its distress broadcast unit. It contains a planetary chart. Take it. Heck yeah. Planetary chart gain. So we want to open the inventory, view the data highlighted in the chart, and write TP. That, man, that gets confusing. It's really frustrating uh, to plot a route. Okay, so anyway, inventory. There's the chart. I'm going to hover over it, and I'm going to... Um, Okay, reach market coordinates, planetary chart, used to plot route. Over there, 940 units away. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do just is um, get back in the ship just for a moment to make sure that my suit gets charged back up there. You see that? Just for a moment. Doesn't take long. All right. And now we're just going to go on the adventure and do some collecting. Now this mining tool, uh, you can upgrade and do other things and um, change its um, mode if you have different modes installed in, in different mods installed. Uh, the gun that I have in my other game is about this long, it's massive, it's like a, a Tau level <laughs> monster, there's many many options. Um, unfortunately I haven't played it in so long, all of my modifications okay that's what I'm talking about so let's just go wait out the storm in the ship because uh, oh man were we going the wrong way anyway jeepers 
So watch the external temperature. It, it'll get over 100 degrees Celsius, probably. And right now, without any modifications to the suit, uh, so if I go to exosuit, I've got slots, but I don't have a whole lot installed, like like hazard protection, and there's a jetpack and life support and stuff like that, but um, there's not a whole lot installed right now. I don't I don't have oxygen as a resource, and there's plant enriched no oxygen enriched plants out there that I could collect oxygen as a resource to upgrade the life support, for example. Uh, so we'll get into that. So I don't see anything that, that's really super helpful at the moment. We're still trying to repair the pulse engine. Uh, by the time I get done this uh, video, we'll, we'll both, we'll, we will be flying, and we will be looking for one of those planets and or a space station up there. It almost looks like those are the space station streaks. No, sorry, the spaceship streaks that they leave as they go. Ship's on fire still. So it's 92.8 degrees out there. The storm is raging, even though it doesn't look much different, but you can see the, the wind is kicking up dust. And I think the flags blow harder and things like that, but, but definitely when you look, 92.8 degrees C. And uh, when I look at my tracker, we need to go in that direction when I get out of here. Uh, the storms last just a few minutes. This one didn't get over 100 degrees, but they, they usually get pretty hot. Well, in this particular hostile environment, it's a hot, a hot planet. There are ice planets, there's desert planets, there's lush and fertile planets there's all sorts of stuff anything you can imagine and beyond that's what i love about this game so we can go there we can go to that planet that i see looks like there's a good atmosphere around it you can see the the blue trace around it and there's clouds you can see the the weather happening we can go there which is super cool. Oh, okay. The weather, the temperature's going down. So let's get out. And uh, we'll head over this way, like I said. Let's take out our tool. Uh, it can be used for protection if I didn't finish that thought before. So if these, if the animals uh, on the planet get a little rowdy, we can take them out with the mining tool. Uh, you can upgrade it to include actual weapons bolt casters and javelin lasers and things like that which are pretty effective look at all this carbon and there are even terraforming lasers so i can i can blast gigantic holes through the the earths that I land on yeah but we're doing good oh see I hope they're not hostile and as long as I don't shoot them chances are they won't attack me if they're not hostile all right let's just launch down here now in the not VR versions, if you're just playing with the PC, there's no teleporting. It's walking around. I would have to walk all this distance. This warping, the teleporting is really good. Oh, it's a whole station up there. Okay, so we'll be able to replenish a little bit um, in terms of our shielding and our exosuit. So that scared the animal away. So that's that's good to know. They're not they're not hostile and they're they're easy to scare, which is fine. <laughs> so I wonder if one of the versions they took out the sentinel 
the planet protectors. I haven't seen any of those. Again, I haven't played in quite some time. What are these? And why can't I mine them? All right. S slowly gathering resources as we go. So I'm going to throw myself up over the edge here. There we go. Woo. Dihydrogen. It's good. Ah, some ships overhead. So not totally alone in the world or in the uh, universe here. Now those are probably just, uh, you know, NPC ships zipping around. They, they happen to do that a lot. So we're almost there, we're 150 units away. Got some more animals over here. Oh, got some stuff. Junk, put that in the starship. Oh, it's out of, let's put that in my suit. See, now I'm out of range of the ship. That was weird, I was in the ground there though. I'll take that, health at maximum. And take some of that di dihydrogen units. So, does everything run? Okay, they're all running. Now, there is a warning uh, if an animal is about to attack you. So, oh, there we go. Is that sodium? Sodium rich plant. There we go. So, we'll yank on that and we'll take 17 sodium from it. Excellent. All right. Walk on over here. Now, is this. I'm not sure if they've changed save points or is this, these are just lights. Okay, fine. I'm gonna teleport into here. Good. I'm not injured, so I'm not gonna use that. Six to seven logs corrupted. Entry follows. No one. Making this recording in case <laughs> leaving behind <laughs> in the fabricated <laughs> maybe some be of use <laughs> visor damage <laughs> can't find ship <laughs> hmm recover supplies the log finishes and the machine whirs to life spitting out supplies I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now? I don't know. Maybe. Hermetic seal, all right. So let's let's go repair our ship. So that will allow us to, um, you know, get out into space. Uh, let's see what's over here in this building. Eh. What do, you, what do you got? Show me what you got. Show me what you got. No, nothing. Okay. Wow. Wow. All right, we're out in the daylight. Get some ferrite dust. Uh, oh, there's a thing over here. Is there? Can we? Can we do anything with this damaged machinery, or do we need pure ferrite again? It looks like pure ferrite. Okay. Um. So we'll go back to our ship. Oh, we got a geode. Oh, jiggly jiggly. Let me analyze that. Holding down on the D-pad. Oh, it gives a ton of ferrite dust. Cool. I didn't realize that. All right. There's the hermetic seal. We can make them later, but we don't have that stuff right now. Okay. Let us let's find our boat. I'm gonna do a scan. Where's the ship? Oh, 
read instructions. Okay, so use analysis visor. Raise left hand beside your head and press left trigger. I don't think I realized that before. Analysis visor is a planetary exploration device that locates and highlights nearby points of interest. It can be used uh, to analyze flora, fauna, and minerals. Analysis requires, uh, sorry, results in commercially valuable data as well as revealing additional resources. I need carbon nanotube. All right, repair the visor, cool. Let's do um, uh, one of those. And we'll click on one of that. It's installed, but I need a carbon tube. Okay, so I'll go back. Uh, I'll go to my exosuit. I'm gonna get a tube. Come back to my multi-tool visor. Done. Look at these creatures, eh? So let's so if that's done then. Okay. Oh. Okay. So He's uh, an animal, methodical, eats grass, untamable. All right, cool. Turn that off for a quick second. So there's the ship, obviously. Use the compass, yeah, see? So that's what I was looking for before. So are these guys different? All right, all right. What about over here? Cool, cool. New discovery, cool, cool. Excellent. All right, let's turn this off. I see something over here with a, a bang on it. Let's turn the visor back on. Ah. Got some oxygen, all right. So if I do a scan, sodium, I don't see a whole heck of a lot of oxygen, but use oxygen to fuel your life support systems. All right, I'm okay for a moment. Let's, uh, let's go over here and get some of this and pick up that sodium plant as we go. Well, what's that guy? I've already scanned that particular type. If juice cotton. Oh. Okay. Let's get some 
sodium enriched plants. Let's do another scan while we're here. That's all recharged. I don't see anything too extraordinarily new there. I see those threat dots. I so maybe we're just not on a planet with those sent 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 sentient, sentient beings. I'm trying. I'm I'm mining these because it has the phosphorus in it. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> Let's get a couple of that. A couple of that. Maybe a little bit more of that. All right. Let's get out of here. What's this? Cool. Pure phosphorus. All right. Let's see if we can throw it up there. Yeah. Where's that ship? What's that? Harvestable flora, but what are those? They're wise. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, off. I still want that. Jetpack powered surge detected. Oh, whoops. Did I not want to do it? Oh, I wonder. A surge detected. It's obviously slightly different than another one. All right, pure ferrite, frozen in time. Man, the ship is so close yet so far away. How far away is it? up over a hill far away. There we go. Where's my boat? Still up over here? Oh my goodness. There we go. Hey. Basically discovered them. Oh, condensed carbon, sure. In the old game, this, this resource used to be like plutonium, I think it was, the red crystals. All right, what do we gotta do here? Repair pulse engine. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking too. Thermal protection fallen. Let's get in here. Let's look at our inventory. And pulse engine. And this. 
All right. That's like a milestone sound. That's good. So I need pure ferrite. So we need uh, to repair the launchers. All right, let's do that. Uh, repair the launchers with dihydrogen jelly. So let's go to the inventory. We'll go to exosuit. We'll go to this one here. Make some jelly. Uh, let's go to the starship. Let's go to the launch thrusters and repair it with the jelly. Okay. Fix my face. Now, uh, what we need to do, I believe, is build something. I'm just jumping ahead a little bit here, but we need one of these refiners. And I'm going to give it a little paint job here. I think we can just... Missing component. What am I missing? Maybe I just needed to progress the... Uh, so anyway, what we need to do is uh, repair status, advanced material required. So the recommendation is to de deploy a portable refiner. Refiners transform simple materials. Refined materials hold more charge and advanced technologies require refined materials. So we need to do this, uh, construct a portable refiner. Oh, we need a, a metal plating, of course, yes, okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the metal plating. And we'll back up, and then we'll go to our build menu, and we should be able to project this down. Boom. Boom, all right. We're gonna grab and we're brought to the portable refiner interface menu. Uh, so the fuel supply here is carbon. So we're just gonna throw a little chunk in there and, and there we go. Uh, it doesn't have to be full, but uh, now what we're gonna do is find our ferrite dust. Now, do we wanna input the whole thing? Yes, sure, why not? Okay, so. The full stack of 837, which is worth 11,718 units right now, which, you know, we'll probably use that money uh, coming up. But uh, 837 ferrite dust. So the input with the fuel supply uh, jumps over here to this input or for the output. And then what we're going to have is pure ferrite on this side. And then this, of course, is used for um, advanced features. Um, some of it what they're saying there, you can either do this or you can get an advanced mining later and just a mining laser and just mine for it. So we're gonna process it. So we're quick begin, boom. It's gonna take a minute and a half to process the entire stack. And there it is, pure ferrite, 10% done. So uh, let's just go and why not gather some more ferrite dust. Uh, since we just used our entire stack to do some refinement, which is fine. You can see where I got, you know, 30 already here. It doesn't take too long to get this, and especially with some of the uh, larger rocks that produce the ferrite dust. Let's get some more carbon while we're at it. Did we uh, map that plant yet? Nope. I think there's bonuses for mapping 100% of the flora, flora and fauna on the planets, uh, as well as we're getting credits and, you know, the money, basically. Right. All right. That and uh, you, yeah, you, yeah. All right. We've got most of the flora in this area, so let's turn the visor off. Okay, we'll go back to our, did we identify you? No. So you're scary, but very docile. You see that his behavior is very docile. So it's very scary looking, but won't harm you. <laughs> uh, oh, perfect timing. All right. So I'm, I'm going to jump back in the menu and show you. You can pull it from here. We'll just click on that. 
and uh, I'm going to transfer it to the Starship since we're here and it has uh, a lot of space available. Okay, so with that, we have pure ferrite. With pure ferrite, if you remember, w there's some other machines, broken things like that, that we can go and repair as well. So let's let's do this, and then we'll go and do that. We'll hop on the good foot and do the bad thing. R repairment repaired. All right, ship repaired. We can basically take off now. Launch systems online. All systems functional. Pick up the portable refiner. Uh, so what we're going to do here is write... Um, thumb pad down. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is this is the the thing. It's it's very frustrating, confusing sometimes. Right thumb pad push, I think, isn't it? Or is the dead zone push? No. Um, how did I do it last time? Sorry, just give me a second. Uh, Uh, up, right trigger pad up. Some of them are down, some of them are pushed. Some it just says RTP, so it's it's tough to tell. So right thumb pad um, up will and and in my inventory now, even though it broke apart, uh, you should see I have a portable refiner here. It's not very valuable, uh, but there it is. <laughs> okay, uh, let's jump over there really quickly and fix that unit since we're like literally right here bring some protection with us and mine a little bit more that and that and that okay ah darn it somehow jump backwards there damage machinery here we go we can now fix the locking pin. Oh, <laughs> we left it at the ship. <sighs> uh -huh. This should put us in range. <laughs> That's silly. So we'll take that stack and we'll just skip over to our exosuit and just keep that on us for a minute. All right, there we go. All right, and what do we get? Nanites, okay. Uh, what is that? Okay. Deuterium, hmm. Oh, is that what exosuit system boost? Okay, that was enough to that was enough to hurt a lot. Well, actually it wasn't that much. It seemed like it hurt a lot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a repaired ship. <sighs> Let's take a little fly around, shall we? Let's take a look at our fuel situation first. Uh, we're not bad, we got thrusters. We can charge that with the, the launch cell or uranium. Um, can I make one of those? the oh okay and that needs oh I can make it so I need a metal plate and then I can make uh, launch fuel and I can hold by the looks of it I can hold a bunch you see how it says one there and the bar isn't very long looks like I can stack a bunch on it uh, how many more can I make can I make another metal plate I can't make another 
fuel. I need more dihydrogen, right? See? I thought there was some right behind us. Anyway, we're fine to take off for now anyway. So what we can do is go up to the launcher. Boom, it's full. Okay, let's Let's go for a spin, shall we? Grab the controls. Full speed ahead. Boom. Oh, yeah. Back in the saddle again. So, so let's... Yeah, you can see all the... There is a star system um, space station out there. Let's hit it. Let's get out here. Booyah. Okay, we'll slow down just a little bit. Here's an opportunity to get a whole bunch more resources. Where's all these space stations I was seeing a second ago? Let's do a scan. What is that? Tritium. All right, we're going to need that for for pulse engine fuel. Some of these are filled with gold and man, that's a lot of tritium out here. All right. Put on some fireworks here, eh? Ah, gold nuggets. We gotta watch the overheat just the same as the mining laser. Wrong. <laughs> okay, so enough messing around. Where did that? I'm sure I saw a station out here. Oh, maybe I'm got to do a little slide around here. So where are they all crossing to? There's some stuff on, on that there planet. I'm trying to trace those lines out without crashing here, but where do they all intersect? They don't. I thought they did. Tell you what. Let's take a look from out here a little bit more. Without dying. see so you see all those lines being traced those are interstellar planetary connections and stuff All right, let's test these pulse engines. Line her up. All right, let's hit it. Wait a second. <laughs> I didn't want to hit it quite yet. Oh, see, I grazed it somehow. Pulse engine. There we go. So we're going to get there in 30 seconds instead of a long time from now. Incoming message. Incoming transmission. Source. 4925B. Please identify yourself. I am... <coughs> well, I don't know. Kind of my own person. Is it any of your business? All right. You're not <coughs> alone. Cool. Follow the The broadcast ends as strangely as it begins. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Well, which ones? 
they're not on that planet. Obviously behind me. Arrive in one hour. So you see how it does say that, arrive in one hour? If I was to keep this present uh, setting, this present course, this vector, it would take one real hour to get there. You see the timer? Arrive in 57 minutes, 14, 13, 12. It would really take me an hour to get there. That's how big this place is. And this whole area is what I was saying was representative of those dots whipping by in the in the opening screen. This is a system, but one of 18 quadrillion planetary systems that they've put in the game that you could possibly explore <laughs> and discover. And you saw I was discovering the planet and this elusive system and things like that. So, all right, so let's boost. Let's pulse. Okay, I, I can nudge only nudge this a little bit. Now I'm going to get there in 30 seconds. Here we go through the ring. Ooh, ah, ah, there is the space station. Thank you very much. So we're going to get to that planet in a minute, but we're pointing at this space station and we're going to cut the engines. Three, two, one now I'm gonna I'm gonna boost oh I clipped it crud you gotta watch that <laughs> so slow it let's let's really slow this so you can see my speed now cutting down to pretty much zero so we're gonna have to see yeah it would take days at the speed to get there literal days so um, it almost looks like the, there's a star rising on that side. You can, wow, look at, the, look at the atmospheric thing going on there. Crazy. All right, so we want to get down to let's cook these engines up a bit. We want to get down there into this area here. I'm going to land in this space station. Uh, there we go. Initiating docking sequence. And here we go. Excellent. Ah. <sighs> Our, our little home away from home. Let's get out of the way here. Excellent. Thank you for parking my ship. We'll be able to zip right on out of here back to that planetary coordinate. So we're going we're gonna to come back in the next episode. But hey, this is awesome. Like one of the best games without VR. With VR, epic. If you don't have No Man's Sky, it's time to get it. If you don't have VR, it's time to get that too. I hope you enjoyed. I hope the loading sequences here aren't really messing me up too much. Please come back again. We're, we're going to continue this particular game for forever. There, there's almost no end to this game. There is a point to it. Maybe we can get to that later. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.